Well, I reckon that's a pretty cool little internal fan for a fridge. How good's that? So you can direct the air. Internally thermostat. So it's got it means it's got its own thermostat. That fan will come on in about a second at seven degrees. What I've got for you today is a pretty cool little mod, pun intended. I'm going to be fitting a 12 volt fan to the internal of my 85 litre Bushman's fridge. It's an Australian made fan, it's 12 volt, it's a very easy install. Basically all you need to find is 12 volt and an earth. Then it's just a matter of sticking the fan to the internal wall of any fridge. It doesn't have to be a Bushman's, it could be you know, a Waco or whatever. So let's get into a bit of an unboxing and we'll go through how the fan works. As I said, very simple, great little mod. I always find a good judge of a product is how well it's packed. Nice set of instructions. That's pretty cool. All in colour, we'll have a bit of a look at those in detail. Certainly well packed. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, looks very good. So, also got a set of instructions. A few terminals, spare fuses by the looks. A bit of a sticker. Fabulous. This is the main reason for the change from the traditional computer fan that I was using as you can see one of the blades is broken off how that happened I don't know whether it was because the blade got bumped with something within the fridge when we were using it or you know the blade got cold and then it was bumped and then it snapped what I was finding is that the fan was running at say three degrees it would bring it down very quick, quickly to zero degrees then the fridge was too cold turn the fan off it would then go pretty much straight up to seven or eight degrees and it wouldn't come back down without the fan so it was sort of a bit self-defeating so that i don't think is the solution to have a, just a fan in i think it does need to be uh, thermostatically controlled with its own separate thermostat on the fan also your fan should have a cover so this is a really good solution i think uh, obviously i've got to test it and i'll get back to you on that probably with a follow-up video but also I like the fact that you can direct the air so you can move it around the fridge and just find, I suppose, that optimal uh, location to point your air uh, to get the best circulation and the best result as far as your temperature is concerned. Let's give you a bit of a closer look at the unit. Uh, obviously very well made. You know, it's nice and sturdy. It's got a couple of different settings. Let me get the light right. So you can obviously have the fan on constantly. Good switch off in the middle or temperature control. You can see there's a little, little uh, probe or thermostat probe there. So yeah, it's very nicely made. Obviously 3D printed. That's a nice long cable. I'm not going to get involved in the wiring aspect for individual vans because everyone's got different situations. There is some warnings there about you know, making sure that inverters are turned off and the 240 volt is also turned off. So if you're not confident to wire it, obviously get an auto electrician to do it for you, which would be probably Curvacool's recommendation and mine. So yeah, if you've got no basic experience with auto electrical, uh, definitely get it done by an auto electrician. The last thing you want to do is have some electrical problems. Another good indicator of a quality product is they don't skip on cabling. So the cable provided with the unit is four metres long. So obviously you can run that to pretty much wherever you like in your van to get your 12 volt. And also put your inline fuse in. It's good to see, you know, a company not skimping on wiring. So I'll uh, cut that, I'll wire that into the van and cut it to length. And I'll give you a look at the install. Well, that was pretty easy, I've got to say. All I did is ran the power through the back of the fridge and got it into my fuse power board there. 
One thing I've initially noticed is the fan doesn't blow nearly as hard as the other one, which I think is actually a good thing because I think that fan might have been overwhelming the thermostat. So it says 21 degrees there, outside temperature is 19. Bridge has been running for an hour or so. It says two degrees on the outside. That gauge is traditionally pretty wrong. So let's see what's going on inside. Fan's still running and we have 5.9. So I think that's pretty right because this one's here yeah, almost just over five. So this little gauge here is obviously wrong. As you can see with the door open, that little temperatures dial's going up. So we'll check back in a bit and see if the actual fan turns off. Another thing I noticed with the other fan is there's a lot of icing on that freezer unit. I don't know if you can see that, that's definitely better. So again, I think that the fan speed for the other fan was pretty high. That's a lot slower, so I think it's not pushing obviously as much air and therefore not freezing the uh, freezer unit element. Fridge has been sitting overnight. Gauge says one. The fan is off. 4.5. I've got a tendency to believe that gauge more than the one on the outside. Give it a minute and let that fan engage. Should come on at around seven degrees. There it is. As you can, well, you probably can't hear, very, very quiet fan, which is good for us because our van's quite small and we can hear the fridge running at the end of the bed. There you have it. Just a quick little review for you on the Clever Cool adjustable head fan for the 12 volt fridges. You can, I suppose you can fit it to any fridge. It doesn't have to be a Bushman's. You could fit it to a Waco or something similar. As long as you've got 12 volt and somewhere to stick the, the fan on the inside of the fridge, I think away you go. They're $165 from the Clevercool website. What I'll do is I'll stick a link in the description below. Uh, by all means, get on there, support local Australian businesses, and yeah, we'll catch you on the next one.